the more you recognize it, the more you realize this is a blessing because it's forcing you to go inwards. It's forcing you to discover something within yourself that you've been avoiding all of your life. Yet you've been yearning for it. You're dying for it. You want it so bad. Yet we're distracted with the other world outside self all the time. So we're not looking inside. And now existence, God, self, got you by the balls. It's like no way out, dig in. Why not using this opportunity? However you have to, do what you have to do during the day. Whatever is your thing. Without judging yourself, do what you have to do, whatever that is. But be committed in here and now. Be committed into living, living your life without an idea. Innocent, be born into the new you without your stories from the past. Try, if you fail, it's okay, try it again. It's free. We really try it again. But get into the habit of spending minutes and hours of the day, every day, in being idealist. And then a thought will come into your mind that, oh, I'm really bored, or where am I going to go, and what am I going to do? Identify that as a thought and come back here in this place that I don't know. You don't have to know. I don't know. My family asked me or my friends asking me, oh, are you living in Tulum or? I'm like, yeah, it appears to be, but I don't know. I have no idea. I have zero idea what's gonna happen next month, tomorrow what's going to happen in my life? What am I going to be doing? Where am I going to be? I, I, I don't know. Before, your mind would go into this projection because you were in this routine under the illusion that it's an illusory, it's an illusion of security, that you're secure, your job secured, your future secured, your family, your country, your status, you can travel. But it was an illusion. And it's still an illusion. A 
And where I'm saying that pay attention is pay attention to the illusion. Consciously bring yourself here and give yourself a chance, an opportunity outside of your story to experience the vastness. Meet me in this place. It's amazing. The vastness. I can't explain it to you. It's beyond. I'm not saying that every moment of life, I'm not saying the mind doesn't come. Worry, concerns, fear, pain, stuff like that don't come. They come and go. But they're not having the main stage of life anymore. They just appear and they disappear. Behind it, there is the experience of vastness all the time. It's always vast. It's always here. It's always present. Meet me in this place. And for that, you have to die to your idea of who you think you are. So death comes first. Anybody has any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer. You can just unmute yourself. But tell me, um, before this vastness comes maybe emptiness. I, I experience a lot of emptiness when I go into my inside. Okay. It's a kind of, when I don't know what I am, then I feel a kind of big, big space, but it's empty. Okay. And that emptiness, what does it do? It scares you? No, 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 not at all. Okay. It's like, no, no, it's like, uh, in a way, it's like a gift where I can put anything in what I want. Like if I have a piece of paper and I, I want to to draw, I can put figures in. It's a, it's a little the same, Th that the space is empty and I can put everything in I want. Close your eyes for a moment, please. And just hang out with me. How does it feel? Just being little, right now. It's a little exciting because something could happen, but I don't know what. So right now, as you're just hanging out together, right? In this moment. Yeah. 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 There is a sensation of excitement, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. 